Welcome back, everyone. Toys just here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. We are totally checking out their brand new Target exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Rat King versus Vernon Fenwick two pack. That is starting to hit stores a little bit early, but it's due around the first of February, first week of February. But you can now find them in stores. You got to go in, of course, ask your target employee. Hopefully they'll look in the back for you. Nice packaging overall. You get the nice picture of Vernon and the Rat King. A little bit of a bio story. It's usually the one we always see on these packages. Two rats in a box, right? Perfect two-pack, I think. Here's everyone involved with making these figures, so thank you for that. Here's the barcode if you want to screen grab it and look for it in stores. And one thing I want to point out, shout out to JNL Toys. He actually did the illustrations on the front of the box for Rat King and Vernon. So very cool to see that. Congrats doing that work. Vernon, for me, has always been that Weasley, Snively, you know what, from the cartoon. Even as a kid, watching the cartoon, I did not like him. You always had Boss, Burn, and Irma, and April, and Vernon would always get into weird situations. And Vernon usually caused them because he's a Snively, Weasley little you-know-what. The Rat King, however, is my main attraction to this two-pack. This is an amazing looking figure. The Rat King, for me, kind of has roots, let's say in the cartoon, where he was more of like a homeless weirdo who controlled rats with a flute and then by, you know, his mind. But for the most part, I think of him as the Archie Comics version and mainly like the original Mirage comic book, where in Archie, he was Lord Hatan, showed up in the Future Shark trilogy. He had a very limited range in the Archie comics. By the way, NECA, please, for the love of God, make an Armagon figure. That would be amazing. In the Mirage comics, he was unique. He was different. He's very much that spiritual kind of weird thing that lives in the sewers, Deals with Splinter a lot, including that really cool story where Splinter falls into a pit and starts seeing the Rat King. If you know what I'm talking about, or if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil it, definitely go and check that out. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys Target exclusive, the Rat King versus Vernon Fenwick. <laughs> So in really just starting it off, let's look at all the accessories. And it's really nice, of course, typical NECA fashion. You get a bunch with the Rat King. He does come with a can of ooze. If I remember correctly, that totally comes from an episode of the cartoon. You get his rat flute. This is how he initially controls the rats when he shows up in the animated series. And then later on, I think he uses his mind, something to that degree. The rats themselves, you get three of them, are the best accessories, I feel like, because it harkens back to the original Playmates figure where you had all the rats all over him, and I'll show you later, you know, you can fit these on him, pull off hands, it all kind of wraps around in different fashion. He does come with, an, again, a very unique looking Playmate sort of belt. You put these little Coke bottle bombs in his belt. I don't know if I really remember something like that. I felt like after I kind of watched the episode, I was like, okay, that sounds familiar. But it's, it's really nice. You get two red ones and one blue one, and you just sort of fit it right there in the belt. Again, very reminiscent, let's say, of Ace Ducks egg bombs and things. So this slips right over him, and it looks great doing so. And you definitely get your share of alternate hands for the Rat King. Hold the flute, hold the bombs, a pointing finger hand, it all works, and they're all painted nicely. In terms of the actual action figure, this is a really gorgeous figure with some paint flex defects here and there. Now, it will vary if you get a chance to kind of look through a bunch on the shelves. Just try and grab the best looking one. That is one thing sometimes with these NECA turtles. The paint kind of goes every which way. Articulation's nice, the head, the arms, the bicep. There's really nice articulation on these. I feel like they've changed them a little bit more over time. He does have a little bit of an ab crunch, changing in the sense of they don't stick as much. The one problem with this Rad King, and I'm gonna show you this, this is kind of a bummer. When you move his shorts up, because they're painted, that little crotch piece right there, you can see the paint slowly starting to split. That, ah, that's a bummer to me. I wanted to sit him on my old Playmates sewer jet ski kind of thing. 
I am not interested in cracking paint, breaking any of the paint up. So that's kind of a bummer and that's kind of, hey, keep in mind, go slow. It does it on both sides. Again, because the crotch piece has paint on it. In terms of the knees, he's got double jointed knees. And again, like I said, the, the, there's nothing really sticking, breaking, anything like that. You don't really have to worry on this figure except around that crotch piece. And I know you don't really wanna break up the paint. The accessories, the value is there for this figure. I do wish certain paint imperfections weren't, but because it's a homeless guy living in a sewer, he's a crazy person, it sort of goes a little bit better, but I do prefer more cleaner, crisp paint. Of course, all the rats fit on him, the belt with the Pepsi cans and all that kind of stuff. This is a very cool figure. Talking about Vernon, now he does come with less accessories, but he does get a bigger sized Channel 6 camera. I love this right here. I love the paint, the cell shading. Everything on this camera is painted nicely. It has a handle to it. You can move back and forth. Just be careful of this little thing right here. You don't want to knock it wrong and then have it break off. The rat wear rat head is fantastic. He's got great hair. The eyes, they're painted nice. Nothing's wonky. He's got a big jaw on him. You can open up the mouth. Again, inside the mouth is painted nice. The teeth, the eyes, little fleck right there. You know, with Negatoys, you do get flecks of paint, but necessarily it doesn't always ruin the figure. They do kind of paint the joints sometimes. You get extra wear rat arms and hands. It's kind of one piece. You can swap them out. And you get some extra Vernon hands as well. Outstretched, accessory holding, and then another open hand, which he does have a pointer finger too. So I like the Rat King comes with one and so does Vernon. You can move his head. He gets a nice range of movement out of him. You can look up, you can look down, side to side, of course. He's got a cool pink shirt on him. Spins at the wrists, the arms, the elbows, double jointed elbows. In fact, you can do that whole pointing thing, you know, point at April, the turtles. His watch you can pull off, you can remove if you really wanted to. He's got a bit of an ab crunch. This is more of like a softer sort of vinyl material right there. So it gives a little bit more movement in the waist. His tie is nice. This doesn't have cracking of the paint like the Rat King does. So that's a good thing. Double jointed knees out of him. Feet are painted nice. The shoes with the black lines. He's got full rotation in the ankles, the joints, everything else. From top to bottom, Vernon is actually a really nice looking figure. Let's do the wear rat thing. You can see, yeah, it's straight from the cartoon. The arms, the head, just be careful with the head when putting it on. You don't wanna push it down too much. I'm having some instances where sometimes I don't get it all the way on and then I have to fix it. I think it's more of me trying to be careful. You know, you don't wanna break anything going out, but kind of get it situated in there and it should pop right on if you have any resistance to it heat it up before you do so. I like the fact that the mouth opens. I like that the paint is great, the nails are painted. They did not skimp on this. You think of a Vernon figure like, ugh, really Vernon? But they did do a great job and the Rat King itself is no exception either. When kind of comparing him with old figures, here he is lined up with the old Playmates Rat King figure and you see the resemblance, you know, with the exception of like bugs and bones and stuff on him. It's pretty much the exact same look for the Rat King, and he's got all the rats all over him, so you can definitely do that with this new Eneka version. With Splinter, I think the height is really good on these two as well. In tradition of NECA with all these target turtles, they all line up really nicely and correctly. Same thing with April and Vernon. Now we're just missing Irma, who I'm sure... If they did Vernon at some point, you know they're going to be doing Irma. So that is going to be cool. Hey, maybe even Burn as well. This is actually pretty cool. You can kind of see where they're kind of heading with this. In one particular episode, all the villains team up. You got Antrax, Scumbug, Tempestra, which we never had a figure of. We also have uh, Leatherhead slash Chrome Dome and, of course, the Rat King. And when you put these all together, maybe they're hitting at something. We know Chrome Dome is coming. Heck, wouldn't be mad if Tempestra, even a new Antrax or a Scumbug, that would be really cool. And you could see all these figures together would look amazing. And as I'd previously said, with the paint sort of starting to give around the crotch piece, I had every intention of putting him on this. I'm not going to ruin the figure like that. But he does look good next to the old Playmates Sewer Surfer. And when you put these all together in your glass case or your collection, the colors on these, 
the cell shaded look of all of these figures. These go together so well. If you're a fan, a collector of these, you're not gonna be disappointed. So that is gonna wrap it up for my look at this brand new two pack featuring the Rat King and Vernon Fenwick. And again, thank you to NECA Toys for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. These are two knockout figures. You think of Vernon, you go, nah, okay. But he's great, and I love the extra features of the Wear Rat. The Rat King is where it's at for me. I love this figure. It's a huge bummer with the thing. There's really no, it can't make him an excuse for that. We gotta figure that out because I don't want paint chippage. That's one, especially in the front, it's just not a good thing. Just be careful with it, but I'm curious to know what you guys think about this two pack. Will you be picking it up? Have you got it already? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything NECA Toys, Team NT. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to the Rat King, I'm always going Archie, baby, and I love the way that this looks. Heck, if you wanna go video game too, it could always be a good repaint. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.